Okay, IALC, I'm going to show you how to log into the IALC cloud. The address is HTTPS, and the S is important because that adds additional security, colon slash slash IALC hyphen cloud dot dot IP dot WCU dot EDU. This browser is Chromium. I'm going to show you how this looks in Chromium. Also Chrome, Google Chrome is the same. I hit enter. Okay, now we immediately see this big scary message, but it's okay. Uh, in this case, I have set up a, an SSL certificate that, that um, isn't verified by an outside party, but that doesn't matter because I know I've set it up, so I'm going to proceed anyway. And then we get a login screen. Type in the username and password that you have, and you click on login. And and now I'm going to show you how to uh, log into the ILC cloud using Firefox. I'm going to again type the same address as before: https colon slash slash ilc hyphen cloud dot ip dot wsu dot edu. Enter. Okay, we get a slightly different screen than you do with Chrome. Uh, what you have to click on with Firefox is I understand the risks. And then we scroll down a little bit and we click add an exception. Okay, then we click on confirm security exception. And we should be good after that. And again we type our username and password. Hit enter. And, and there we are. Okay, when you first log in, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Uh, it says, Welcome to Own Cloud. Get the apps to sync your files. Desktop app, Windows OS X, Linux, Android, or an Apple app. Um, you can click on any one of these and it'll help you download the app that you need. Uh, keep in mind that on our computers in the ILC, you might not have administrative access. So if you need me or Adam to set the uh, program up for you, we'll be happy to do that. Um, I'm just going to close this and then I'm going to show you what it looks like um, when you're in this when, when you're in this website. Uh, first thing that's most important in the upper right hand corner here, this is a link to all your settings. If I click on personal um, I get this screen. This shows how much space I've used and this shows how much space is available on the disk drive. Here's where you can change your password. You type in the current password and then you type in the new password and you click change password. Your full name, your email. You can upload a, a profile picture. You can choose the language you want the interface to be in. And let's see what else is important here. Oh, I guess that's about it. Um, by the way, the, if I click here on users, it'll show us all the other users on the system. Now, if I click on files, this shows us all the folders I have and files on this system. Um, if I want a new one, if I want to create a new folder, I'd click here. I can create both folders and text files, and I can also create items from links. Uh, if I click here, I can upload a file and just choose the file I want and upload it. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. Um, if anybody has shared something with me, I click here on shared and I click on and then the, the, the folders that have been shared are in there. And uh, um, that, yeah, that's pretty much what that's all about. You can also have music and photos on here. Um, this activity button, this is pretty important. This shows you all the uh, all the changes that have happened to files recently on your um, on your own cloud account. This notice here says that another user shared a, a folder with me, um, and this shows that a file content changed. And I can click here on documents and I can see a list of all the documents. I can click here on pictures and see a list of all the photos I have. The calendar and contacts are probably not very important right now.
Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create a new folder and how to share it with members of your group. I click on New. I'm going to call this Create a Folder. I'll call it Listening Speaking 3. That's the class I'm teaching right now. I press Enter. And there it is. Okay. Um, when I hover the mouse over the name of that file, I get some options here. I can rename it. I can download it. I can share it. Also this X, that deletes it. We don't want to do that right now. I click on Share and I can either type in individual names of people who have accounts on this system or I can just type in the name of the group. Now in order to get a group it has to be created by the administrator. So I've already done that as an administrator and as a user I can just type in the name. I've created a group called LS3. Okay, it comes up there. I click there. And now everybody who's in the group LS3 will see this folder in their shared folder and also with the desktop client they'll also see it.